Hey guys, so to start today, we are going to attach all four of our cords with the Lark's head knot. So I'm going to take my cord, fold it in half, place it over that key ring there, find that little loop, and then pull those strings through. So that's how we're going to attach all four of the cords. And now to create the first two diagonal lines of the um, double hitch knots, we are going to divide these cords into two and I'm going to use the fourth cord here as my guide to go to the left and I will use the fifth cord to go to the right. So this is my guide. Take our working cord, put it over through the loop it nice and tight. We're going to do that twice for each of the working cord. I'm actually going to, I'm going to tape this into place just so it doesn't wobble as much while I'm filming. You don't have to do this. Okay, so back to it. the opposite direction so we're using that first cord there and we'll take it down to the right working cord And now for the second row, you're going to start by going down to the left with the very first cord that comes out of this side. So this one right here. So it should be one, two, three, four, the fifth cord in. This is going to be our guide and we're going to work our way the entire way down. Now we're going to do the same for the opposite side. So we're going to use this very first cord that comes out from this side. So it will be the one, two, three, four, fifth cord in, and we're going to work our way all the way down to the right. So now for the next section, we're going to add this wooden bead. Um, this is one centimeter wide and you can see it has a fairly big hole in the center there so that we can move the strings through. What I like to do is I'm going to get the very center two cords and I'm going to just, oh, I'll trim these so that they're the same length, but use a little bit of tape on them. Just have some scotch tape here. Um, to tape up the ends and it makes it go through the bead a whole lot easier. You can just push it right through usually for the most part. It might take a couple tries but that's okay. There we go. Then when you've done that part you can just snip that tape right off. Okay so for the next part we are going to bring it down. So I'm going to start with the left hand side. We're going to continue using this filler cord as our um, filler, the guide. So we're going to go down, we're going to go over 
one, two, and three cords on each side. So over like this and make sure that they go in order. So now that I've done an even number on both sides, I'm going to close the center by continuing to use the right hand cord as my filler. Now we're going to finish it off with two more rows. On this side, I'm, this time I'm going to start with the very first cord on the left hand side and bring it down over these cords. Now to finish it off, we're going to do a gathering knot. So I'm going to pull all these cords together. I'm going to turn it around and we're going to do the gathering knot from behind. So I'm going to take a spare piece of cord. This is about 12, maybe 18 inches actually long. We're going to make that little loop. We're just going to tie it around. Okay, so that you want that little loop sticking out there and that top piece there. Now once I've done it a couple times, I'm just going to take this little end piece here. I'm going to put it through this loop. Oops. Come on, pull it nice and tight. And now that top piece is going to pull that up and you want to trim off this excess one because if you accidentally pull it it's going to undo the entire knot there we go give a little tug to hide that end now from the front you can just see some of these should be pulled into place just to tidy it up a bit Trim it to the length you want. Here you can leave these ends like this, or I like to use um, just a metal pet comb, and you can just comb it out to get the nice fringe.